Hi, uh, my name is Danny Schwen. I'm the uh, director of Siam Wing Chun. I have been teaching in Thailand for the last 17 years, privately, and uh, I'll be opening a school with a partner uh, in Thailand. So for those of you uh, who don't know very much about Wing Chun, Wing Chun is a Chinese martial arts about 300 years old. And it was begun by a woman. So a lot of you think, you know, why should I learn a woman's martial art? Very simple. A woman represents the smallest uh, human person, human being. So if a woman is able to fight uh, off a man, then any man, a smaller man, should be able to fight off a larger person based on you know the knowledge that uh, uh, of this art. So to prove that, in fact, the people who have proven this to be very effective art, uh, people like Bruce Lee, okay, who was taught by his master Yip Man, who some of you know. Uh, because of the uh, movies. Uh, Yip Man is my great grandmaster. Okay, so I'm third, his third generation student. I learned Wing Chun about 40 years ago uh, in Canada from uh, immigrants from Hong Kong who had learned it from uh, Yip Man. Okay, so, uh, I actually come from three uh, of Yip Man's, great grandmaster Yip Man's lineage. Uh, one is uh, Lok Yu, the other one is Wong Shun Leong, and, and finally from uh, Moyat's lineage. Three lineages. However, in these 40 years of uh, practice, I have also developed my own skills and knowledge about Wing Chun. So, uh, as you will see, Wing Chun, uh, there has many, many versions of Wing Chun. And uh, I'm a strong believer in the feminine part of Wing Chun, of being softer. Okay? Man can always be hard and use just the muscles. But uh, to be unique, he has to learn how to fight in another way, which is the soft form, the, the yin part, the yin and yang. So yang, we, you know, in, in life, uh, we have opposite forces. There's a yin and a yang, so uh, both complement each other. The whole idea of the yin and yang is to have a balance of the two. Okay? That creates harmony. It means, just like in the Buddhism, the middle way. Middle way is always the best way, because you can always veer a little bit to, to the left, to the right, and come back to the middle again and not always go to, uh, to one extreme. So, the Wing Chun, okay, in, in Thailand, uh, I like to uh, teach in, in Thailand because I find that you know, the Thai people are, are very well built. They are, you know, physically, uh, uh, they adapt to sports very well. And, um, and of course, uh, in Thailand, they've got uh, Muay Thai. And it's, uh, it's a very good uh, form of fighting. And, but if you, if you go back far enough, I'm sure it comes from China as well. So it was Wing Chun, about 300 years old, and uh, it's a very unique art. What makes it very special is that uh, it cuts down a lot, a lot of movements. Many, many martial arts just keep adding more and more techniques and more, and it keeps building it up. And then a person who is learning, it gets very confused. Whereas in Wing Chun, it's actually, it's like uh, a sculptor. He takes a big rock and he chips off everything till it comes into the nucleus form. That means if he chips it, it then comes the shape of whatever he's designing. While some other styles are just slapping more things and more things and just weigh it a lot. So I have a saying about Wing Chun. It has very small inventory, but lots of versatility. What I'm trying to say, it's like carrying a very small toolbox. Okay? If you're a skilled person, say if you're a skilled mechanic, auto mechanic, you can fix a car in the desert with 
whatever you can find, whether it's a shoelace or a stick, because you know the science of auto mechanics. Okay? So that's the difference between a guy who works in the shop, who, you know, every day he fixes brakes and tune up, he does tune up and, and uh, the journal things, and that's all he can do. But he's not able to solve problems. So in Wing Chun, the way I teach is for you to understand the science, the science of fighting, the art of fighting. Not only that, it's the art of understanding the human body, human mind, and the universal laws. And the universal law meaning gravity and and uh, the leverage, you know, the simple mechanical things. Why are we able to open up a Coke bottle with a little uh, opener? Why aren't we able to open with just a hand? Same thing, how, we, how do we lift up a huge stone if you can't lift it up with your own arms? Use some kind of lever. So, Wing Chun is about this. Okay? So, in order to... Uh, a lot of people uh, think that you know, in martial arts you need to be very large, you want to build yourself up and you got to build up your speed. But in reality, you don't need these things too much. I mean, you do need it. Those are only two components of martial arts. But if everyone uses those two, and if you have one additional component, then you become superior than that person. It means you have uh, your software it has more function. It has more capability. So for example, Instead of using, like most people, you know, whether it's boxer or Muay Thai, they punch, attack, and they defend, okay, whatever it is, or they dodge. There's a two separate entities. What if a person knows how to use both at the same time? So when a person attacks, instead of going one and a two, it goes one this way, one, or this way, one, or this way, one, this way, okay, or this way. So it means the defense and the offense becomes one, one movement. Okay. So that eliminates time. So one step less. Okay. And to become superior, what if this person is able to use three limbs at the same time? Okay. As you know, nobody does that in, in martial arts. Okay. It's either kick or punch. Okay. So if the person comes and attacks you with one punch, and you answer back with one defense, one attack, and the foot at the same time. In other words, that, that person has to know how to use three limbs at the same time to defend against you. Okay. So, this is the special thing about Wing Chun. There's other things that's uh, more also uh, very important, is learning how to feel and read a person by touching. Okay. So. In reality, when there's uh, some kind of a real fight, okay, two people always will end up in contact entangled. Okay? You can't, it's not like sports, in boxing or you know, other things where you, you're standing around and they throw one punch and the other person moves and one. It doesn't happen that way. The reality thing, if you've ever seen a real fight, if you can look at an animal's fight, is go, after one uh, the other person, one one and another, and and the main objective of the even the animal is to take the other animal down. So, in order to learn uh, to defend yourself, you must learn how to defend against somebody who's trying to take you down, or for you to be able to take that person down. Okay? We're after all animals, and animal instinct. We want to be back on the feet. Okay, so this part. Okay, Wing Chun uh, teaches all that. Okay. It's, people are talking about mixed martial arts today, but Wing Chun is already mixed martial arts. Because it deals with opponent contacting the opponent. So it involves hitting with the hands, kicking with the, uh, with the legs, it involves trapping the arms, okay, doing the locks, what we call grappling, and deals with taking the opponent down to the ground as well. So it's all in there. It's a very, very complete art. Not only that, not only looks after your self-defense part, but looks after your health also. Okay? 
It's a very important aspect in martial arts. If you want to learn, you, if you're exercising to become healthy and get injured, what's the point? Right? So, uh, Wing Chun <coughs> is designed with very carefully is designed so that you will not hurt yourself. All the stuff that you see sometimes in movies and people that banging each other's arms and so on, not necessary. Wing Chun can be learned by children, okay, men, women, and elderly people. It's not strenuous at all. It doesn't need to be. Okay? It's up to you. You're, you're, how far do you want to go with it? Okay? You don't have to uh, run around the tracks. Uh, you know, five times or do 50 push-ups or, or, or 50 sit-ups. No. Wing Chun uses your body. Okay? When you come to learn Wing Chun, you'll be taught the martial art, holistically. You learn the art, the philosophy, and also about your physical laws. Okay? When you combine these two, and you'll be able to uh, deal with every situation. Let me give you an example because, okay, I know Thailand and Thailand football is very popular. So I'll, I'll uh, give you an example with football. Why, why are some people better uh, players than the other? Okay? It's the same game. Okay? But they have teams that are better players. Uh, they have a single player that's better than other players. It's a training method. It's a training method. Now, what is a training method? It's not about trying to understand what to do when this and that happens. It doesn't mean a trainer will not repeat an action that could possibly happen. It means he doesn't say, okay, if this guy, number 14, is here, number 20 is over there, and number 8 is here, you should do this, this, and so on. Because you know the reality, when you're playing any kind of sports that has an opponent, interactivity, you never know what the other person is doing. Okay? So same thing in, the, in, in fighting or martial arts, you never know what the opponent is doing. So to try to imagine what someone will do and how to respond is a very naive and simple thinking of uh, dealing with uh, martial arts. The real proper way of training is to train just like in football. It will train you, train your body. It will train your body for that game. Okay? You need to run, that's part of the training in running. You need to dribble the ball, that's part of the training on the dribble ball. Okay? You need to score that goal, you kick hard and straight accurately, that's what you need to train. And Wing Chun is the same. And you need to throw accurate punch, strong punch, okay? And deal with different situations, your body to, to deal with the opponents in different situations. Okay? It's, that's why I'm saying, Wing Chun is learning how to use your body and understanding the law of physics, your limitations. Okay? Your limitations against the science but, uh, the, with the physical laws. Okay? You know you can't fly, so you can run. So you're going to learn to run as fast as you can, right, in football. You need to learn how to kick as hard as you can. So you, you play the game within the rules, okay, those are the rules. So same here, in Wing Chun, you're gonna learn the physical limitations, the law of physics, there's gravity here, okay? And you know, you're fighting against gravity, you try not to fall down and then if you understand how gravity works, you take advantage of the gravity to pull the person down, okay? or knock the other person down. So this is uh, the special thing about Wing Chun, and this is the way I teach. And like I said, it can, I can teach men, women, children, all that. It's put 40 years of experience, it becomes very easy, because it's about understanding a person's uh, knowledge, capability, that's what teachers are. We teach, we customize to each student. Okay? We have a program. However, we, we work with the limitations of the person. Okay? We don't try to make that person uh, 
uh, super. It means uh, we don't need to build that person any larger or make the person any smaller. We work with what they got. Okay. So I want to show you some some things, and I'll show you. Uh, I'll use uh, first. Let me use my daughter for example. Okay. Three Yeah. Huh. 